Welcome to GCRD Technologies Selenium Tutorial In this video series, 5th chapter Selenium Tutorial Module 2 Java for Selenium 3rd chapter in this module Java Environment Setup So far, we discussed 4 chapters uh, 5 chapters uh, including that uh, prerequisites to learn Selenium Say in this video series Selenium tutorials, uh, Selenium tutorial for beginners. First, first video, prerequisites to learn Selenium. It is, it is not part of Selenium. Prerequisites to learn Selenium. Next, first video, Selenium tutorial module one, introduction, introduction module. First chapter, Selenium syllabus. Next. Uh, module 1, second chapter, and overview of Selenium. That introduction module over. Next, second module, first module introduction, small module, theory module. Second module, important module. Third module also important. Second module in this series, Java for Selenium. Java programming for Selenium. First chapter introduction to java next in this uh, second module java for selenium second chapter and overview of java programming today third chapter java environment setup see selenium tutorial module 2 java for selenium chapter 3 in this module java environment setup See, Java programming environment. Java supports various operating environments like Microsoft Windows, Linux, Macintosh, etc. to write and execute programs. Say, a programming environment. Uh, it is required for a, every programming language. Say, for example, Python. If you want to write and execute Python programs, just download Python software from Python official website python.org, install, then uh, you can get a Python shell. After installation, you can get built-in editor, Python shell. Using that Python shell, you can write and execute your Python programs. In real time, if you want more uh, facilities, more features, uh, you can use PyCharm like IDE for Python. But for learning purpose, for learning, uh, Python shell is enough. Uh, Python shell is called Python IDLE, Integrated Development and Learning Environment. Okay, suppose if you want to uh, practice VB script on Windows environment, you no need to set up any environment, you no need to install any software. VB script engine is built in in Microsoft Windows operating, operating system. Uh, both are from same vendor Microsoft. Uh, launch notepad type VB script code Next, save as VBS file, uh, generally notepad extension is TXT. Save as .VBS file, then click and execute. Just a minute. Suppose launch notepad, launch notepad. I am I'm writing a simple uh, VB script program and executing launch uh, notepad for editor. Okay, suppose EMSG box hello VB script. I wrote one simple uh, statement display statement. Next, save as vbs file suppose file name sample file extension vbs 
VB script 5, VBS, VB script, uh, save on desktop. Uh, you can remove this notepad. Uh, click this VBS file. See, output, hello, VB script, program executed. Okay. Next, for Java, no built in editor, no built in editor for writing and executing Java programs. So, uh, we need to configure editor, uh, Eclipse ID like editor. See, first, install Java software. Java, Java has three types of software JDK, JVM, and JDK, JRE, Java Development Kit, Java Runtime Environment, Java Virtual Machine, JVM. Uh, we need to download and install full software JDK, Java Development Kit. It includes JRE, JRE includes JVM. If you install JDK, then uh, you will get full software. Okay, download and install Java software, uh, your operating system compatible software. Suppose uh, mine is Microsoft Windows 64 bit operating system. I need to download Microsoft Windows compatible, Microsoft Windows 64 bit compatible Java software and install. Okay, next. Uh, set Java environment variable path. Next, download and install or extract Eclipse IDE. Next, using Eclipse IDE, you can write and execute Java programs. Already I told, Java doesn't have built-in editor for writing and executing programs. Python has built-in editor. For VB script, you can use Notepad. VB script no installation in Windows. Okay, for our Java, download and install Java software. Next, download and install or extract Eclipse IDE. Set Java environment variable path. Next, launch Eclipse IDE and write Java programs. Okay, uh, say uh, one important point, general point. Three important steps in computer programming. First step, write a program in an editor, suppose notepad also editor, write a program uh, by following syntax rules. Next, compile the program, compile. Say we write computer programs in high level language, English. Suppose for, do, if, while, when, all these are English words. System doesn't know about English words. Uh, compiler compiles our high level language to machine level language called binary language. Okay, compile the program. Compiling means converting high level language, language into machine level language called binary language. Next, run the program. These three steps. Okay. Uh, this Java environment setup, I will show in two different environments. One is old one, old one. Uh, steps for writing and executing Java programs using the command line interface. Say it is basic one in, in our Selenium testing. We don't use this one. We use Eclipse IDE like editor. We need to integrate Selenium with Java and uh, other software. We need to integrate Selenium, Java, TestNG, uh, Maven, Jenkins, etc. So Notepad is not suitable, uh, not sufficient for writing Selenium test cases. It is only for general idea, basic concept. Next, second one, real-time usage. Steps for writing and executing Java programs using Eclipse ID. Uh, first, basic method uh, in this uh, command line interface first download java software jdk software and install next set java environment variable in the 
in the OS environment. Why setting Java environment variable? Say we install Java software in C program files Java directory. Suppose if you want to access that, that software from other directory in your computer, environment variable is required. Say by setting Java environment variable, we can access or use Java software from any directory in our computer. Next, write Java program in notepad and save with Java, dot Java extension. Java file name is, file extension is dot Java. Next, compile the program, compile the program file in command line prompt and run the program in the command line prompt only. Next, same steps for uh, Eclipse ID, uh, one or two steps uh, different. Uh, download Java software, JDK and install. Set Java environment variable in the OS environment. Next, download Eclipse IDE and extract. See, we have several Eclipse IDE flavors uh, in the market. Uh, it is open source software. For some Eclipse IDE flavors, installation required. For others, no installation required. After downloading the zip, zip file, extract that one then you can use that software uh, directly means ready to use software say in this uh, training video i am going to use eclipse ide photon version photon flavor for java developers for that photon flavor uh, no installation required just to extract and use ready to use software next write java programs in eclipse ide Eclipse IDE editor and run. See Eclipse IDE, it is a platform for writing and executing Java programs. Uh, nowadays, uh, basically it was created, it was uh, launched for Java. Nowadays, uh, separate plugins available for supporting other programming languages like Python, Perl, PHP, etc. Suppose if you want to write and execute your programs using Eclipse IDE, then install PyDev, P-Y-D-E-V, PyDev plugin in Eclipse IDE, then you can write and execute Python programs using Eclipse IDE. For writing and executing Java programs, you no need to install any plugin, okay? Uh, first, download Java software from official website. Uh, say current vendor uh, developer say in uh, industry industry uh, general general industries uh, pharmaceutical industries automobile industries uh, like industries we call vendor in software uh, industry we call developer okay java current developer is oracle oracle corporation uh, previous developer Sun Microsystems. Okay, download Java software from Oracle.com. Launch Google search engine. Uh, Java download. Java download for Windows 10. Uh, you know, need to specify this one. Test Java download enough, I think. Uh, say here oracle.com java sc java scan edition uh, here jdk download click this link this is latest version java sc 16 latest version click this download link uh, here observe uh, linux java for linux next mac windows uh, download your operating system compatible Java software. I already told mine is Windows 64 bit, Windows 10 or 7. Uh, forget about Windows versions 32 bit or 62 bit. Our is 64 bit, 32 bit or 64 bit, not 62. Mine is Windows 64 bit operating system. Uh, download this one. Uh, 
uh, accept the uh, agreement download observe left side bottom left side bottom uh, jdk downloading executable file executable file is downloading java free software okay i think downloaded a uh, downloading completed okay uh, open standard downloads folder of windows uh, jdk click this executable file observe here java symbol teacup symbol uh, click this executable file exe file yes see preparing to install next see it is showing uh, default directory uh, we are going to install c program files java uh, if you don't want that directory you can change so no not required leave it next see java installing copying new files Uh, close see observe java sc development 16.0 successfully installed close okay next <coughs> open this my uh, my computer or this pc c program files see after java installation you can get a java folder java folder jdk this one where is the bin directory ah, okay next check this one uh, cmd command line interface java observe after installation you can get there information okay next set java environment variable path uh, how to set java environment variable path copy java bin directory path see c drive program files uh, java jdk bin uh, copy this bin directory jdk bin directory path from windows explorer address bar this is windows explorer address bar uh, next select my computer and right click properties oh, oh where is environment variables or just not otherwise <coughs> open this one set and also uh, close uh, we, uh, select this PC and right click properties where is this one Microsoft environment variable uh, observe right side right side earlier also said just a minute select my pc or uh, select my computer or this pc right click properties here right side uh, advanced system settings uh, environment variables next uh, here two panes environment variables top pane user variables bottom system variables select system variables here select uh, path path variable suppose if you don't find path variable in your uh, environment variables then you can create new variable already there uh, edit new paste the java bin directory path okay 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 close this one uh, next see observe uh, download and install jdk over 
set java environment variable path in os environment over next uh, write java program in notepad next compile and run okay third step launch notepad don't focus on this java code uh, this we will discuss in future videos future uh, chapters I am writing one simple code. Public class class name sample open curly braces. Next main method public static void main string square brackets args close parenthesis open curly braces next close curly braces for main method close curly braces for class next write one statement i'm writing one simple statement uh, system dot out dot println of hello hello java world hello java world semicolon every uh, after parenthesis close every java statement should end uh, should end with semicolon main method is block class is block uh, print statement is normal statement should end with semicolon next save as uh java file save as uh, save with class name class name sample dot java suppose i am saving on desktop save close okay sample dot java created next compile this one go to cmd uh, my file file available in uh, file available on desktop cd uh, desktop desktop uh, here dir das command das command our file is there sample dot java okay next compile that file our java software our java software installed on uh, java, uh, c program files java but we set up uh, java environment variable we can access java software from desktop no problem okay see java java c java means c for compiler uh, file name sample file extension java enter uh, over after uh, compiling java file it will create class file dir observe here sample dot class created sample dot class created say uh, java is portable java is portable uh, after uh, compiling this uh, compiling java files uh, it will create a java class suppose sample dot class you can execute this uh, java class class file in same windows or you can copy this file to linux environment execute in linux environment or mac environment portable means write once and run anywhere java supports uh, what is the slogan of java ora write once and run anywhere okay you can copy this sample dot class uh, file byte code and you can execute this one on any uh, supported operating environment linux mac okay next execute this one java run execute or run both are synonyms 
Java file name, class file name, class file name, program file name same without extension. Enter. Observe. Hello Java world. Hello Java world. Output. Output displayed on the console. Okay. Next. Edit this one. Edit this one. Mm, sample dot class. Open with notepad. Oh. Sample. Just a minute. Edit. Edit it. Oh, it is not. Just a minute. Delete. Edit. Yes. See. Select Java file and right click. Not open with. Edit. Edit. Okay. Here I am adding one more statement. For example. Hello selenium world. Hello selenium, not delenium. Uh, save, save the file. Okay. Next, uh, run the file. Execute the file. Suppose file name, uh, file available on desktop now. CD, change directory. Desktop. Next, Java file name sample. Why it is not showing? Could not find load main class Java sample caused by Java class not found. Error is there. Error. Uh, edit. Any mistakes? Public class. Hello Java world. There is a mistake. Public static void main. String args. Okay. Then why it is showing? Hello Java. Java file name sample still DAR oh again compile the file Java C sample dot Java DAR uh, run the file Java file name sample other two outputs hello Java world hello selenium world this is about uh, writing and executing Java programs using command line prompt. In real time, we don't use this one. Uh, we use Eclipse ID. Uh, come to next method, advanced method. Steps for writing and executing Java programs using Eclipse ID. Download Java and install over. Set Java environment variable path over. Next, download Eclipse ID and extract. Next, write Java program and run. Okay. <clears throat> Just a minute. First, download Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID also cross platform. We need to download our operating system compatible software. See, download Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID, Photon. You can download other flavors also. 
Kepler is there. Next, Luna is there. See, download Eclipse ID Photon for Java developers. Go to eclipse.org. Uh, here, right side, download links. Windows 32 bit, 64 bit, Mac, Linux. Mine is 64 bit. Click this link, download, observe left side bottom, left side bottom, Eclipse Java port on zip version uh, downloading, zip file is downloading. Eclipse ID, it is a platform for writing and executing Java programs. It provides editor for writing programs. Uh, it pro uh, it uh, and it also provides syntax guidance, context help, and auto compilation. You no need to compile programs uh, after writing program. You can directly execute auto compilation. Say it provides editor for writing programs, syntax guidance, context help, and uh, auto compilation for our selenium uh, one one more facility we can integrate selenium software with other software we can integrate selenium with java test ng maven jenkins etc okay still it is downloading eclipse id also open source See in our selenium testing, selenium testing means testing using selenium. In our selenium testing, we use all open source software. For example, Java is open source, selenium web driver already open source. Next, testng open source, maven open source, Jenkins open source, uh, extend reports, extra plugins also open source. Just a minute. I think over. Open Windows Standard Downloads folder. Uh, downloads. Uh, extract this one. Extract. You no need to install <coughs> uh, this flavor. Extract and ready to use software. Extract files. I'm extracting to desktop. Select desktop folder uh, desktop path desktop okay see observe folder created open this eclipse ide folder in this folder you can find uh, subfolders and files uh, here Eclipse ID file, uh, Eclipse ID application. Click this one. Eclipse ID launching. While launching, it shows a path, workspace path. Means uh, if you write programs, it has to store somewhere. Eclipse ID is one tier application. It doesn't have any database. It stores its resources like our programs on hard disk only. Where? See, it is showing uh, one folder, uh, Eclipse iPhone workspace. Actually, this folder not available in my computer. It will create. It will create first time. Uh, next, it will store our programs on that folder. Uh, if you don't want this uh, default folder, you can uh, select another location. Then Eclipse ID will store our programs on that folder. Okay, leave this uh, default folder. Click launch. Eclipse ID launching. Uh, here right side 
click workbench uh, bottom option is there always show welcome at startup uncheck this option we don't want always uh, this welcome screen workbench just a minute Here, left side pane, pane means area, left side pane, package explorer, right side pane, editor, editor. Uh, Java program hierarchy is, first create Java project, under, under a Java project you can create Java packages, one or more. Next, under a package, under a Java package you can create one or more classes. In in a Java class, you can write your Java code. See, first create Java project. Next, create Java package under the project. Next, create Java class under the package. Creating Java project, creating Java package, one-time activity. Okay. See, file menu, new Java project. Suppose if you don't find this option in your Eclipse IDE, uh, other, other option is there. You click this one, there uh, you type Java, then you can select Java project. In my Eclipse IDE, it is showing Java project. Click Java project. Suppose my project name, my project. Finish. Uh, next, and uh, select Java project and right click new package. Suppose my package is uh, admin. Finish. Next, under this package, you create one Java class. See, under a project, you can create multiple packages. Under a package, you can create multiple classes. Okay, uh, class, suppose class name, sample, uh, check this option, uh, main method, uh, then it will generate the main method. Otherwise, you can type the main method. While creating a Java class, if you select this option, it will generate the main method. Otherwise, you can type the main method. What is the purpose of main method that we will discuss in Programming syntax chapter, next program structure chapter. Uh, finish. Okay. Suppose system dot out dot println. Just a minute. S Y S O control space enter. Hello, Java world. You no need to compile this one. Just run. Auto compilation is there. Just run. Okay. Observe the uh, output on a output on the Eclipse IDE console. Hello, Java world. Uh, you can customize the Eclipse IDE. Means you can configure the Eclipse IDE. Suppose I want to uh, I want to increase font size for both editor as well as result console. Uh, go to window menu, uh, preferences, general appearance, colors and fonts. Uh, first Java, Java. Uh, here Java editor. Click this one. Default font is 10. I want suppose 18. Okay. Next, debug. Uh, here, console font. Uh, edit this font. Default 10. I want 18. Okay. See. Apply and close. Observe. Apply and close. Uh, run 
see hello java only suppose uh, suppose e into ea equals to 100 b equals to 200 next a a greater than b open curly braces uh, system dot out dot println a is big number a is big number close if block open else block next system dot out dot println b is big number b is big number just a minute 13th line else block close 15th line main method close 16th line class close uh, no need to save run observe b is big number suppose a uh, 500 then it will show a is big number as per programming logic a is big number okay uh, this is about uh, java environment setup thank you